Hey, in this video, I'm gonna show you a fail-proof, easy way to get started editing in Adobe Premiere Pro. Let's go. You gotta just press record. Hey, what's up? It's Omar Takori with Think Media, helping you build your influence with online video. And in this video, I wanted to show you how to properly kind of set up your workflow to begin editing in Premiere Pro. I think a lot of times throughout your workflow, you can mess up along the way and um, starting your uh, project correctly and also organized is really important. So I just wanna make this really quick. I think the only thing I wanna preface uh, this tutorial before I start screen sharing is you wanna make sure your your settings are consistent throughout. So even the settings on your camera is a, uh, is a big deal based off of how you're gonna edit your video and then how you're gonna export your video. And so if you wanna learn how to set up your camera, um, whether you're vlogging or you're doing YouTube videos like this, then uh, make sure you check out this video. I'll put a link to it in the description below as well as in the YouTube card. But once you got that dialed in, you got your camera settings good, you've shot your video, now you're gonna go into your computer. All right, so for this tutorial, I'm gonna use my uh, M50 photography tips video we did uh, a little bit ago. And just real quick before I even get into much, uh, notice how I edited the folder with the date. We love doing it by year, month, and then date of when that was recorded. Um, it's helpful to go back to. If you notice, if I go in my hard drive, you'll see how all my stuff is dated. And so it's really easy because by the name, I'm able to you know, base things off of when they were shot. And then still, because they are named what they are, I can also search that. So if I go M50 photography tips, it's right there. It shows up right there, boom. So uh, just keep that in mind whenever you're doing stuff. It makes it easy to come back to. And so as you notice, inside the folder is very simple. I got my talking head stuff right here. Um, as you can see, there's my talking head video. And then that's what I, I would call A roll. And then we got the B roll in a separate folder. So here's the B roll, the stuff that I will put on top of my A roll, right? Um, so those are the two things in the folder right now. I just dragged them straight from the card. I'm gonna create a new folder called project. So I'm just gonna call it project. And so I do this for every video we do, I'm gonna call it project. And then, so I'm gonna X out now. And then we're gonna open Adobe Premiere. If you don't have Adobe Premiere, make sure you check it out. There's a 30 day free trial. Um, we'll put a link to it in the description below. Uh, we love the Adobe Suite. We use Photoshop for thumbnails. We use Lightroom for editing photography. Uh, if you don't uh, have Adobe Suite, look into it. It's really a game changer when you have just everything accessible to you. And it's very, uh, I think, affordable um, on a monthly standpoint, but try it for free, 30 days. So now we've opened up Premiere Pro. I'm gonna hit new project right here on the top left. And then I'm gonna call this, uh, again, what it is, 2020, 02, I think 05, and then M50 photo. Now, I used to just start the project right here, but I'm, I'm gonna browse. I'm gonna hit this browse button, and I'm gonna put the project file in the project folder. You know, I think a lot of people actually disagree with this workflow just because it's uh, it might use the same part of the computer. I found I'd rather be able to reference my stuff in the, in the future, sacrifice a little speed um, to do so. And so I'm just gonna save that file, that Premiere file in this folder. So all the auto saves will be in that file as well as your main project file. So you can always reference everything you need in that folder. Once Premiere Pro is all opened up, I'm going to double click right here in import media to start, double click, going to go to desktop, M50 photography tips, and then I'm just gonna select everything I want to edit right here. All right, once all your files are imported into Premiere, uh, I do like to see it in the icon view instead of the list view, because you can kind of see what's going on and you can also scrub uh, through your video in here, which is really cool. But uh, all you have to do is right click your clip and then go down to new sequence from clip. And then based off of the settings from your video clip, it will create a sequence for you because a lot of people don't even know how to, you know, if you start a sequence by file, new sequence, then it gives you all these options and it's like, what do I even decide? The cool thing about just right clicking and starting a new sequence is it starts a sequence based off of the clip settings. So if you got all your settings right in camera, uh, like your frame rate and your shutter speed and things like that, then you're gonna be good to go to just right click your clip and then start a new sequence. And that's how you get started with Premiere Pro. I got two more tips that I wanna share with you in just a second, but before I do, question for you, uh, and let me know in the comment section, what is your biggest pain point 
with Adobe Premiere Pro. You know, I think the way it looks, if you've never used this program before, it can be very daunting, but I think if you simplify it, and that's what I wanna do is, very, is make it very simple to edit video. But what is your biggest pain point? Let me know in the comment section below. Now, let's get back into the tutorial. So when you, re when you started a sequence based off of the clip, the sequence is gonna be titled the clip. And so because I use Sony's, it has like C002, as you can notice right here. And so the sequence that I started is titled C002. But if you wanna change that, I'm just gonna go right here, click the uh, name of the sequence, and I'm just gonna call it M50 Photo uh, Tips. And so now that's reflected right here. So if, you, you know, if you're stacking on projects and sequences, you'll be able to distinguish better what project is what. And so that's the first tip. The next tip I wanna show you is something you can do before you even import all your footage. So if you start a Premiere project file and maybe you're doing uh, the same kind of videos or you're using the same intro, the same title cards um, or the same music, it's gonna be very helpful if you have an asset sequence. You know, I've learned this because I've done a lot of client work and I'm always referring back to old projects or even using old projects to start new ones, right? And so how about before you actually import all your footage, create an assets folder in your Premiere Pro project. So what do I mean by assets folder is just include, you know, your, your uh, YouTube bumper, uh, include all your music, uh, maybe if you have titles like your name or if you've created titles like, you know, tip one, tip two. Um, and if you notice here, I'm just going to show you real quick. You know, this there's a few different intros we have at Think Media. We have this kind of intro. You've probably seen it in a previous video. Or we also have this kind of intro where it goes like just press record. And so, um, you know, also titles, you know, like anytime I, I need a title, I just go in here and then I, you know, uh, just copy paste. And so even my right here here is my like, social media handle and stuff. Um, so having an asset sequence where it just has like your intro and your music, it's very helpful because you're not always having to like dig for it in your you know computer. Um, but that's just a power tip. And then what you can actually do now is once you have an assets project file, uh, you can just file save as, you know, call it assets. Um, and then save that somewhere you know you're not gonna lose it, like in your document or something, I'm just gonna put it on the desktop. So whenever you're gonna start a new project, you just double click your assets project file, and then, and then you can just import your, uh, your new files that you're gonna use, um, and then import, right click, start a sequence from clip, and then I'm gonna name this M50 photo. Then I'm gonna file save as, and then just save that in my project file under the M50 photography tips, right here, boom. So now, now I'm starting a fresh project with all my assets, like my music, my intro, and things like that, and so you don't have to like try and fish for it anymore. So that's just a power tip, I hope that really helped. Well, I hope you got so much value out of that video. And if you did, why don't you smash the like button for me? Thank you so much. And you know, let me know in the comment section below what tutorials in Premiere you'd like to learn. Um, I would love to make those videos for you. And in the meantime, why don't you check out our Adobe Premiere uh, playlist? Uh, you'll find it super helpful. And you can check that out by clicking or tapping on the screen. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.